it's me. Oh, just a minute. Hey, Vic. Hi. Excuse the dust. Oh. Just in time to step on some spiders. Oh, I hate cleaning. It's always a hassle. You have to drive the maid back and forth from the bus station. And they never stand on the right corner. Oh. Gosh, I know. Isn't it awful? And sometimes you have to make a U-turn and everything. Susan, are you making fun? Who, me? <laughs> Just when I brought you a present and everything. Oh, come on, Vic. What'd you get? <laughs> From me to you. Who are these people? That's us at the college prom. <gasps> I had it blown up. Oh. <laughs> That's me with Ashley Nash. Ashley Nash! Oh, of course. Who else would wear saddle shoes with a tuxedo? <laughs> well, you should talk, Susan. Look at your date. Ellsworth is wearing a bolero jacket and knickers. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he took off his bicycle clip. <laughs> Why did you do this? Oh, uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. Hey, Vic, I think it works the other way around. I give you the present. No, I, I was just feeling sentimental, because I was thinking about the years gone by, and that was our first big night. It was the first time we ever doubled. <laughs> that was the night we sang with a band, Hank Holloway and the Boston Boogie Kings. Slick Simmons and the Mellow Dudes. <laughs> Remember? Oh, yeah. Ba 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 Ann. Ba 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 Oh ba ba Ann. Oh take my hand. Ba ba Ann. You got me rocking and rolling, rocking and freezing. Ba 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 ba. I looked up to you in those days. You remember that protest song you wrote about draft dodgers in Canada? I sure do. I'm sitting here in Saskatoon, growing mighty old. You can go and fight your war. I'd rather fight the cold. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah. Gosh, you go out there and fight for everything. Stop the war, dump Johnson, clean for Jean. And then it was animals. Save the seals, save the whales, save the eagles. Vic, there isn't an armadillo alive that doesn't remember you and his prayers. <laughs> oh, Susan, how do we get so old so fast? Who's old? I am. I'm gonna be 30 tomorrow. Again? Well. <laughs> All right, 31. Again? All right, 32. Sold. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Vic. You know what they say. You're not getting older, you're getting better. Crow's feet isn't better, Susan. It's just a short step from vanishing cream to doctor. Could you put a tuck in here? Hey, it's those little imperfections that give a face character. It's those little imperfections that can lose you a husband. Oh, come on. Marvin's not like that. He's crazy about you. I know, I know. Marvin gives me plenty of everything I could possibly want. Except Marvin. <laughs> Gee, he works hard. I know, he does work hard. And I spend hard. I gotta keep up, I wanna be what Marvin wants. What do you want? Um, just what I have. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oops, I'd better be going. Uh, I have a leg waxing at five. <laughs> uh. Hey, thanks for my present. Uh, oh, that reminds me of the other reason I came over here. Uh, Marvin just decided to throw me a surprise party tomorrow. So I want you and all your funny friends to come. Do you promise? Hey, would I miss your third annual 30th birthday party? <laughs> Second annual. <laughs> I want you to remember two things. Don't get intimidated and don't steal any ashtrays. Will you relax? I know this neighborhood like the back of my hand. I used to come up here all the time. Oh, I didn't know you had friends like this. Friends? They were customers. I used to deliver pizza. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a meeting of the Don Ho fan club. 
felt uncomfortable in India. It's beautiful, but all those people, and there are no laundromats. I found the temples fascinating, and I loved the little street shops and the open markets. I didn't see any of that. Darling, you never left the Hilton. Marvin, how can you say that? Didn't we have gin rickies at the Sheraton? Excuse me. Didn't we? No, Roger. Oh, Susan. Hi, Vic. Happy birthday. Hello, Hi, Susan. Marvin. Hello, Leonard. Hi. Hi, Vic. Hey, nice pad you got here. I love that electric gate. <laughs> Isn't it great to see Susan again? Always. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, gee, Vic, I wish you'd told me to dress for a luau. Well, it's okay, Susan. You look wonderful. You always look wonderful. Oh, that's nice of you. Oh, this is my friend Leonard Scribner. Leonard, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Say, what did you pay for this place? <laughs> Leonard, well, I, don't, I don't need it to the penny. Just round numbers. I'll give you a clue, Leonard. The pool service alone runs into five figures. Uh, five <laughs> figures. <laughs> Susan, can I take your missionaries down for two of these? You're going to be climbing the palm trees. Oh, no, maybe later. You know, this is our first luau in two years. I'd forgotten how hard it is to find a good roast pig. <laughs> I couldn't even find an authentic Hawaiian band. I ended up buying flowered shirts for six mariachis. <laughs> You know, at our last theme party, we raised money for the L.A. County Museum. Mm -hmm. We wanted to import the Mona Lisa, but we came up a little bit short. Way short. We ended up with two Vincent Price etchings and an Xavier Cougat self-portrait. <laughs> Mounted on black velour. <laughs> Sounds lovely. Uh, say, I understand you're in the import-export game? Yes. You ever get to Lima, Peru? As a matter of fact, I am going to Lima, Peru next month. Great. A friend of mine took some snapshots down there a couple years ago. If, uh, if I give you the money, will you drop into the drugstore and pick them up? <laughs> um, well, Vic, here's your present. I hope you like it. Oh, Susan, how sweet. I know I'm going to love it. Oh. Oh, Susan. I want you to meet the Raja of Guadalampur. Oh, Vic, I don't want to meet you, Raja. Oh, Susan, now meet him. You never know when you're going to be in Guadalampur and need a place to stay. <laughs> Raja. I'd like you to meet my sister, Susan Hughes. Blessings. Nice to meet you. What is your sign? I have what you call Scorpio. Oh. And you? Pisces, I think. Oh, no, you're way off. I'm a Leo. Oh, I too am a Leo <laughs> from a previous life. Um, you've lived before? Many, 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 many lives. Village chief, village holy man. Village warrior, village cow. Oh, 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 I don't believe you were ever a cow. I could not believe it either. <laughs> but uh, when one wins two blue ribbons at Bombay County Fair, <laughs> one does not doubt. <laughs> well, it was certainly nice to meet you. Happy grazing. <laughs> Don't touch it, you hear me? I'll call the auto club myself, you klutz. <laughs> oh, what a joint. <laughs> I bet you they got a pool table. Classy. Who's classier than me? Hi. Hey, Susan, wait till you hear what happened to us. It was awful. The parking attendant dented our car. Yeah, ran right in front of me. The whole right fender ruined. <laughs> So is the attendant. <laughs> Are there any celebrities here? Wait a minute. Who do you think that guy was we were talking to? That was Long Green's dog trainer. <laughs> Seemed awfully young. Well, you know, I wish that Vic had told us to dress Hawaiian. No problem. Just take your shirt off. <laughs> well, I'm going to stay at the party until I meet a biggie. Well, listen, keep it under your hat. But there's a wild rumor going around that Jacques Cousteau is outside. Jacques Cousteau? Wow, where can I find him? In the bottom of the pool. <laughs> My latest screenplay deals with the blue-collar worker's capacity for love. Uh, now, the main character must reconcile working on an assembly line with his own changing sexual role. Now, I must tell you, Sylvester Stallone is very interested in the property. Oh, wow. Do you have any parts left? Well, as it so happens, we're still uh, looking for the girl he punches out in the last scene. I do it, but my hospitalization ran out. <laughs> do you mind? I'm casting a movie here. Say, sorry, CB. I'm going to be going. Uh, well, before you go, uh, just let me get your number and uh, we'll take a meeting on this, huh? <laughs> I'd love it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 what are you doing? 
cleaning the drains. Well, at least save me that. I got a hamster needs a beach umbrella. <laughs> Susan, you're, uh, you're not mixing. You should be out here mixing. Hey, I'm having a lot of trouble with that Raja. He wants to put me into his next life. Well, don't knock him. He's fixing me up with a stewardess from Air India. Well, I'll tell you what, meet you behind the papaya dip in 20 minutes. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Susan. Hi, Marvin. Nice party. Not bad for five grand. Actually, six if you count Victoria's dress. You're kidding. Oh, no, that dress didn't come off a rack, Susan. That dress was made in Samoa. Well, I mean, actually, the dress only cost 200, but she flew back twice for fittings. <laughs> oh, come on, Marvin. I'm not kidding. I'll show you the plane tickets. And you know, your sister does not fly standby. Listen, I think she just wanted to look good for you tonight. Oh, you know what's the worst thing about a Hawaiian party, Susan? What? The band. I mean, after they finish playing Sweet Leilani in the Hawaiian war chant, you've had it. <laughs> oh, poor Marvin. Poor Marvin. Oh, poor Marvin. Are you right? I was at my office at 7 a.m. I come home at 5 o'clock. I had to spend two hours building a fire under a pig. <laughs> And on top of that, your sister makes me dress up like I'm an extra on Hawaii 5 -0. So, has Vic opened her presents yet? Well, what's the point of that? She picked out most of them herself. I got to pick out which credit card to put them on. Oh. <laughs> well, I think I'll go back and see what's happening on the big island. Oh, wait, what's the matter? Am I boring you? Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, huh? I'm boring you. I'm boring you like I bore Victoria. I think between me and the band, it's a tie for the bore of the evening. Hey, Marvin, you're just tired, you know? Oh, you take it easy. I didn't want this big party. I didn't want to blow five grand. I mean, Vicky and I, we could have had such a nice evening at Chase's for 300. <laughs> yeah, well, did you ask her? Oh, uh, what's the use? Your sister wants big parties. Everything in her life now has to be a big event. I used to be the big event. Marvin, you're really being hard on yourself. You know, Vic adores you. You should really talk about this. Oh, I can't talk to Victoria anymore. I, I, I can talk to you, Susan. <laughs> you know why? Because you remind me of the way Victoria used to be. <laughs> Marvin, why don't I get you some coffee? No, All no, right? Susan, don't leave. Please, Marvin? Don't, don't leave. Marvin! Mm. Marvin! Mm. Oh, 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 no! Oh, Vic! Oh, 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 no! No! Victoria! Susan! Susan! Susan, wait a minute. What are we gonna do? I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm gonna go find my sister. Yeah, but you have to tell her I didn't mean it. I mean, it was all innocent. Was it? Just let me find my sister. Well, you, you, well she probably locked herself in the bedroom, so here. Well, which one? Pool house. Cabana. Wine cellar. Wall safe. Burglary system. Tool shed. There it is. No. What the hell is that one? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pool house, cabana, oh. wine cellar, real estate, burglary system. Vic, Vic, come on, Vic, open the door. You open it, Susan. It's not locked. Oh, Vic, where are you going? What do you care? It's your house now. What? The maid gets picked up on Tuesdays, the gardener gets paid on Saturdays, and tell him to water the climbing arbutus. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? You're not going anywhere. Dress like that unless you plan to jump into a volcano. <laughs> you never wanted to be friends. That's not true. Oh, it is so. You did the same thing with Derek Sittler. What? Who's Derek Sittler? Oh, you're playing it so cool. As if you didn't remember, Derek Sittler was only the most exciting man at college. Oh, you mean that creep who used to wear madras pants in the middle of winter? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think he was a creep when you tried to steal him from me. Vic, Derek Sittler and I were in Slavic languages together. He was the only other student who could converse in fluent Croatian. <laughs> you always were sneaky. Sneaky? Mm-hmm. You know exactly what you're doing. You try to get back at me for the time I wore your pink blouse without asking you. Well, that is vicious. Vicious? Well, what about you? What about the time you pulled the legs off all my stuffed animals? <laughs> I had to roll my bunny across the room. <laughs> well, what about you? You were always writing to sailors. You ruined all my good stationery with your cheap cologne. Oh, time out. Forget about memory lane. Now, listen. Marvin's tired. 
He's been drinking rum out of a 10-gallon coconut all evening. <laughs> that would tire anyone out. In his condition, he would have made a pass at a potted palm. <laughs> all right, Susan. Now you know. <laughs> Marvin and I aren't exactly Ozzy and Harriet. <laughs> hey, nobody is. I knew this was coming. You know, in a way, I'm glad it was you, Susan. At least we're keeping Marvin in the family. Yeah, would you cut this out? In that kitchen, all Marvin could do was talk about you, how great you were, how much he wanted to be back the way it was. I know, but I've changed. And Marvin's changed, too. Hey, everybody changes. I know, but... I don't know, when we were first married, it was so much fun. Ah. Oh. You know, we worked together, and, and, and we were sharing everything, and, and we really knew where we were going. But now that we got there, he doesn't need me anymore. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't need me to help him make money anymore, so all I get to do is spend it. And I miss him. Oh, no. oh big. Some party, huh? Well, the roast pig was a hit. <laughs> I thought it was overdone. Oh, no. Yeah, the pineapple sauce helped, but I think the pig could have been a little No, 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 no. no. You know something, Carl? This is a terrific party. Hey, hey, up, pal. Hey, come on, eat up. Otherwise, the band takes it home. <laughs> I do not eat, and I do not drink. I get it. You're cruising for girls. <laughs> that is not my bag. What is your bag? Only to exist. To be, to feel, to touch, to see. You get paid for that. <laughs> Who needs money? Every year I am weighed in rubies, which I give away to the less fortunate. What a beautiful gesture. Nah, it is not my idea. My Maharishi is into tax shelters. <laughs> Excuse me, I see a foxy lady I know from another life. <laughs> He's very deep, Milk. Not to mention full of it. Uh, Susan, yeah, Susan. Yeah, later, Milk, later. What do you mean, later to your employer? I got man problems. Uh, so it's one of those kind of parties. I hope so. <laughs> Marvin, it's a very simple game. Cheese twiggles can jump egg rolls, but an egg roll can only capture a deviled egg if it's next to a shrimp brumaki. You got that? Good. Your move. You've played this game before. That's the old cheese puff gambit. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a nice try. Watch this. <laughs> Want to play another game? Uh -oh. No, no, spot your spirit. Uh -oh. Leonard, stop playing games with the food. Hey, listen, I'll play it both at once. Keith Loren counts double, melon balls, triples. <laughs> Did you talk to Victoria? Yes. She buried me, right? No. Marvin's never home. Marvin's old business. She's still mad at me for the two weeks that I went to Sumatra. Did she tell you that? No. I, she thinks that I went on my vacation. I didn't. I, I went to try to make money to pay her Gucci bill. <laughs> Susan, do you want to hear about Ceylon in the monsoon? No, but I think Vic does. I can't talk to her anymore, Susan. All she thinks I'm good for is writing checks. Well, you may think that, but she doesn't. Now, come on, you're going to talk to her. Come no, on, we're going to try. Can't, we're going to try. Hey, 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 hey. I just got the board set up for another game. <laughs> Cheese twiggle over shrimp from I'm so stupid. I deserve to lose. Susan, Susan, me and Milk won the hula contest. Later. Later? What do you think? This gray skirt's gonna last forever? What is she doing with her sister's husband? Look, what Susan does after work is none of my business. Come on, let's shake. What is this strange ritual? 
We call it the hula. Oh, in my country, we call it getting down. <laughs> check, check, check your booty. <laughs> Marvin, this is Victoria, and this is Susan, leaving. No! Oh, I really think this conversation is best handled by two people. Okay, I'll leave. No, I'll leave. I'm half-packed. Nobody's leaving yet. I'm really not the person to be in this position. Saving marriages is not exactly my specialty. Not even on your menu. <laughs> okay, I admit it. Being married is hard. I tried it for five years, and it didn't work. But you two have been doing it for 12. You must be doing something, right? Thanks, Susan. All it takes is cash. Now, listen, Marvin, you're no prize. You know, I think you get off on writing checks. You like being down there at the office where you're a one-man show. It's a little harder coming home and having to deal with a partner. Yeah, and I'm tired of being the junior partner, too. <laughs> you know, you give Victoria everything she wants because it's easier than talking to her about it. Who can live with that? Not me. Me either. I've had it. Oh, you've had it. You've had it. Twelve years of get me, buy me, give me, do me. Nobody twisted your arm. Nobody asked you to go out and buy half of Alaska. You know, you have more fur in your closet than King Kong had in his whole body. You know, Susan, you got a nerve telling us what to do. I wasn't talking to you. Uh, she was talking to me. I'm not talking to you. I was talking to Susan. I am not talking to you either. That is your problem. The two of you don't talk to each other, so I get kissed and have to come in here and do all the talking. What are you talking about? Wait, I I'm confused. Who's talking for who? You are talking to him, and you are talking to her. So then I can go home, and all the kissing can take place in this room. Now, come on, come on. Just try it. Just talk. <laughs> Victoria, why do you have to spend so much money? Why do you have to work so many hours? Well, if you would cut down to maybe one credit card, then maybe I wouldn't have to. Well, you want me to look good, don't you? Victoria, you look terrific without any clothes. <sighs> Marvin. <laughs> Only one credit card? <laughs> Maybe two? I'm gonna try a big kahuna. Aloha. 